in the NFL draft. The th hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding back here. Now, this is a different type of video than I normally do. In this video, I want to speak to those who have a favorite football team that is not in their local TV market. If your team is not in your local TV market and they are not on national TV this week, you most likely will not be able to find the game live to watch. Even if you have Sunday ticket, it ain't going to work. That's right, it ain't going to work. And if your team's on national TV this week, then you're going to have the problem next week or the week after, whenever that time comes. Now, this was a problem the last two years, but I have a workaround. So I wanted to share that with you, whoever's out there, because I know what it's like to not be able to watch your team live. So I'm going to speak as an Eagle fan about the Eagles, but this goes out and this goes for all of you of any team fan base. Now my workaround, it's quite simple. It's not hacking, it's nothing like that. I'm sure some of you can do that, but I didn't do that. This is more legal and it's just simple maneuvering. Now, this probably will help Dallas Cowboy fans the most because we know that that team has a fan base that probably 80% of the people never been to Dallas. Actually, probably never even been to Dallas. Not even like three or 400 miles near Dallas. And they're Cowboy fans. They love the team that worships with the satanic star on their head. Okay, so when I talk about how to do this, I'm going to talk about in terms of the Philadelphia Eagles. But this can go for any of your teams that you like. You just need to figure out their schedule. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to go to NFL.com. Go to something called Game Pass, okay? Game Pass is a, is a, I guess, a service that allows you to watch games that have taken place. Some few years ago, some just recently, the week before, or whatever. They put up the full game, they put up condensed versions, and they have some other features. But they never put on live games during the regular season, okay? Big distinction. But they put live preseason games on it. So that people will go spend $99 to get this. Now I don't need it because I record all the NFC East games every week. And the next two Eagle opponents every week. So I never need to use Game Pass. Now, when you go there, you can sign up for this thing. You can do a 7 day free trial. Now what I did last year was when the Eagles played, I believe they opened up on a Saturday... That Saturday, I signed up for the free trial. I then watched the Eagles live. Now, after two days, I set an alarm in my phone to go and cancel the subscription, and I did. So after two days, I canceled the subscription, but they let you finish out your free trial. So the Eagles played on Saturday last year. I signed up that day. The Eagles then following the week played on Friday, which was the last day of the free trial. So I watched week one, and then that Friday, I watched week two on a free trial. Then when that free trial ran out, my wife happened to want to watch the Eagles too. How about that? She wanted to watch the Eagles. And she wanted to check out Game Pass. So she signed up for a free trial. Very nice of her. And I watched the next two games on her free trial because that's what she wanted to watch and I just happened to want to watch it too so that's how I watched all four games during the preseason now this year the Eagles play only on Thursday so you can't do all that but what you can do is if you sign up let's say Thursday and you watch the Eagles and Green Bay and if you have a way or you live with somebody or somebody that you know in your house wants to try this free trial after you, then they can do that. And then you can watch week two. Then when the Eagles play week three, that's national television. They're playing Miami, I believe, on NFL Network. So you'll be able to watch that. Then week four, you're up, you're, you might be up, you know, you might be up the river on that one. But if you're going to miss a game, 
If there's one game that you're not going to be able to see live, that's the one you want. Because that's the one where none of the starters are going to play, not even really some of the second string. So if you miss that one, I think you'll be okay. But you can get week one in, you can get week two in, and week three is live. Now, if te people who like other teams, you need to see when your team isn't on national TV and do it and make it work for you so you can get the most out of those free trials. If you can only do one free trial, pick which game you want to see the most. So if you're the Eagle fan and you want to see week two more than you want to see week one, then do it on week two. But definitely, that's how you do it and it'll work. And you can stream Game Pass to like your PlayStation, to your Xbox, so you'll be able to watch it that way. Last year it worked fine for me. I enjoyed it, it was great, but I'm not gonna pay $99 to watch old games when I can tape them on, you know, on my DVR. So that's what I did, that's what you need to do. But here's the key. The key to this whole thing is you have to be able, you have to be able to cancel your subscription before the free trial ends. Don't forget that part. Cancel your subscription before the free trial ends or they're going to charge you $99. Then you're going to get mad Philly 500. And you're going to say you didn't tell us to cancel beforehand. I'm telling you right now, if you don't see this, if you don't cancel, it ain't on me. You got to cancel that. Set an alarm. So I set a reminder on my phone after two days. Set a reminder. Set an alarm. Do what you have to do and cancel the subscription. Cancel it before the seven day free trial ends. That's all you have to do and you won't be billed. Worked for me for two years. Now, I hope you do it. I hope you get to see the game live because I'm gonna be on here talking about it live streaming after the game. So I wanna hear your thoughts on it. Take care, talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat, I hope this helps.